The first one is going to be plugging in your USB drive and then make sure to have these folders in there. You're going to want to have PS2 ISO, PSX ISO, PSP ISO. Make sure to put it in the right folder. I'm going to be transferring a PS2 ISO. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into the PS2 ISO. Just wait for it to finish transferring and then make sure to press eject when it's done. Plug in your USB drive and now we're going to go into the file manager. Click on PS3 root. And then from here, you're going to want to find dev USB 00. That's going to be your USB that you just plugged in. So we'll open another folder and then this time we're going to go to the HDD0. And then we're going to go ahead and look for PSP ISO. And just put circle and then paste and just accept. And then it's going to take a minute, but once it's done, you should be back on the folders and then just exit out. You can unplug your drive and go into the hard drive and then you can see all the games that you've transferred. And that separates them depending which one you're using. So that's the USB method. And then to start it, you're going to have to click it and then it loads it and then just go back into XMB. And then from there, it's going to load it as a disk and then you can go ahead and open it. I'm going to go ahead and create a game save. And then the second method is going to the PS3 Tro. I found that this is the easiest method. And then we're going to go ahead and find the game that you just put into the USB drive. And then from here, you can also click copy and it'll transfer it onto the PS3's internal hard drive. Sometimes if you do it this way, that for some reason the game doesn't load and then you can do it the other way through the file manager. As you can see, it loads it again to the disk. The next way to do it would be file transferring. We're going to be using FileZilla. Leave a link in the description. And we're going to go ahead and click on the first one, the simplest one. And want to go back into your PS3, hold select, and you're going to see the IP address. You're going to want to go ahead and copy that IP address. We're going to be putting that in the file transfer app. under host. Just go ahead and copy and paste it. Just click OK. And then as you can see, it connected. We're going to go back into the HDD00. Find the ROM folder that you're going to be transferring your files to. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this off because sometimes it doesn't load the album cover if it has extra things in the title. And then I'll go ahead and transfer that. So I'll just wait for that to transfer. And then we're going to go back into the PS3 once it's done. I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to go on Webman games right here. And then you can see the games as well. And then we're going to load it and it should pop up. And there it is. So that's the three different ways that you can transfer games on, onto your PS3. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to the next video.